gradient fill varies stitch spacing between dense and open fill within an object and can be used for shading effects. Gradient fill can be used with step fills. Click on the effects icon in the general toolbar at the top of your screen to access the effects menu. Select the gradient fill tab and notice that the icons are grayed out. I have to select an object and place a check mark by gradient fill to have access to the different profiles. The way the gradient fill will appear is affected by the stitch angle. And I've changed the stitch angle to zero degrees to help you see how the profiles work. The first profile that I'll select and apply that will fill the object lightly on one side and heavier on the opposite side. And you can make this effect more pronounced by increasing the maximum spacing and then apply that. Profile 2 works in the opposite way. So when I select that and apply, the heavier area is at the top of the square where the lighter area at the bottom. Again, I can adjust the maximum spacing by lowering it or increasing it and apply that. Profile 3 works by putting the heavier areas to the outside of an object with the lighter area in the middle. And profile 4 works in the opposite way. The denser areas are going to be toward the inside of the object with the lighter areas toward the outside. So with each profile that you select, you can change the maximum spacing. Notice that underlay is automatically removed. It's no longer highlighted. And if I go to the underlay tab, it is now unchecked because you would not want underlay to go underneath this open fill.